Boyfriend has abducted Erica. Are, are, are you toasting his success? Are you out of your mind? If you're in on this, and I think you are, this is the first and last time I'm going to give you a chance to save your hide. Now you tell me where Erica is. Now! You can just save your stupid threats. I'm not in the least bit intimidated by you. No, well, then, then you are a fool, because I guarantee it, you and your demented lover are going to pay for what you've done. No, you know what, Demetri? You're the fool, because I was as shocked as you are by what's happened. Where is Erica? I don't know where she is. What happened? Who are you talking about? I'm telling you, Brooke, if you've had your hand in this, I'll find a way to get you... Demetri, I was in Jack's office when you called. All right, that is how I know about Erica. Erica? And I'm sickened by it. Is she all right? Edmund must have told you something. He told me he was going after you. Oh, and you egged him on. I begged him not to. Yeah, just uh, just as, as you tried to stop him at every turn. Look, up until an hour ago, I was on my way there. I was going to beg him or plead with him to ha have him come back with me. Well, what changed your mind? Look, in the first place, I have no idea where he's hiding. And in the second place, there is nothing that I can do for him now. Oh, yeah. so, so you're trying to keep your hands clean while he does all the dirty work, is that it? And I'm going to tell you something. His losing his grip is on your head, all right? You are the one who drove him over the edge. Edmund is terrorizing an innocent woman. And you're still making excuses for him. I mean, what is it going to take for you to open your eyes? For him to kill someone? He is not some poor, unfortunate victim. I'll tell you what he was. He was the whipping boy for your family for years, and you just took up where your father left off, didn't you? The man you? has committed a violent act. He has taken a hostage. Now, how can you justify that? I'm not justifying it, all right? What Edmund did was a deplorable thing. Well, what did Edmund do? But I'm going to tell you something. You are the one who is to blame because you have tortured him for months. No, no, no. It is the other way around. What is so terrible about what he wanted? He wanted the answer to a simple question. He wanted to know if Hugo Merrick was his father. And it's something that you could have settled in a day or two, but no. You, you attacked him physically. You cornered him legally. You abused him emotionally. You pushed him and you pushed him and you pushed him until he was hanging on to his sanity by a thread. Well, I am not responsible for his instability. And then you gave him the final shove. You gave him the key to an empty mausoleum. I did not know it was You know what? You're sick. You're a sick, despicable person with a warped sense of humor. Well, I want to know who's laughing now, Dimitri. Who is laughing now? Did your sick joke get hilarious results? You should enjoy it. You should enjoy your victory. What, what happened? What did Edmund do? He's lost. Edmund is lost. I don't understand. He's not just obsessed anymore. He's... He's dangerous. People who love me and, and depend on me, and I, I cannot let them down. Are you listening to me? And then please, please, you've got to stop this. I mean, you've got to let me go. Shut up! I could just cry. How could that gentle, humorous, fun-loving man turn into a say it? A criminal, a sociopath? Oh, wit and charm and irreverence. What could happen? How could he... I could have predicted this. I could have spared us. I just chose denial. Oh, Brooke, you couldn't possibly have known that Edmund was capable I didn't of... let myself know, all right? I was too lonely. I was too needy. Brooke, you are a normal woman with normal needs. Edmund seemed like a... Like a dream come true. I think that should have been my first sign of trouble. When you think that you have a dream come true, obviously you've entered into a fantasy. Oh, 
Now that is excessive. I knew it, all right? I knew it. From the minute that I opened Edmund's desk and I found that archive of Merrick clippings, they were all neat, they were chronologically arranged, never discussed. But that didn't mean anything. Oh, of time. course it meant something. Why else would Edmund have flown into a rage about it? Well, he had a right to his privacy. He had a right to change his name, too, didn't he? But that was another sign. I heard a warning bell go off. I did. I just... I just made myself ignore it. With a great deal of help from me. No, I... I something inside said danger. I just... I just drowned it out. Oh, now, all you did was give him the benefit of the doubt. I brought it into my home. Don't you understand? I made it part of Jamie's life. I'll oh, stop it. Stop it, Brooke. Stop it right now. There is not an adult in this world who doesn't have some unresolved issue, some, some private demon. We all do. I know I do. It's not the same with Edmund. And we spend most of our lives fighting to keep our demons under control. Well, unfortunately, Edmund didn't win. I'm such a fool. I was such a stupid, needy fool. I'm so ashamed. Oh, sweetheart, shame is a silly waste of time. Now, it's true. People will talk about you for a, for a few weeks, but then, then they'll forget it. They'll latch onto some p new piece of gossip. I don't care about the gossip. I'm worried about Mona and Bianca. Oh, oh of course. I mean, Bianca's a little girl. And Mona's just recovering from cancer. How am I going to tell them? How am I going to tell them what happened? I wish I could say with absolute certainty that Eric is going to be all right, but I can't. Because frankly, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. How am I going to break this to Mona? I mean, is she, can she take this? Does, does she absolutely have to know? We could stave it off somehow. So I was right. She's not up to this, is she? On the other hand, you know, it would be much better to hear from us than from the media. Have, have you any idea whether this has been leaked to the press? Now, I'm assuming that Dimitri is keeping this quiet. Do you know what steps he's taken so far? I would if I hadn't screamed his head off and hung up on him. Because, you know, if Eric is released before it gets out to the papers, it would save Mona a great deal of anguish. That really would be the best, you know. Mm. All right, all right. So uh, I'll call Dimitri. I'll apologize oh, to him. No, no, no. No no need for you to do that. I will call Dimitri. And Ruth and I will deal with Erica's family. No, I think I should be no, the no, one. No, no, honey, listen, please, no. please, please don't be silly. Now, you've got a, you've got more than enough to contend with as it is. I agree, I agree absolutely, Ruth. And, Joe, yeah. this girl is overcome with misplaced guilt. Darling, don't let yourself in for that. How can you be so nice to me? You should be angry. You should be furious. You're looking at this altogether wrong. I asked you to welcome a criminal into this family, and you did because you trusted me. We liked him. We were very impressed by Edmund. Well, Ted Bundy was impressive, too. Would you want him as a stepfather to Jamie? Look, Edmund's not a mass murderer. He, he's a wonderful man that was just, just pushed too far and then snapped. What if he had come at Dimitri in this house when Jamie was here? How could I have been so reckless? Honey, listen to me. There is a great deal of recklessness involved in falling in love. Now, you loved Edmund, and he loved you. Please don't let yourself forget that. Otherwise, you're not going to come through this intact. When you feel overwhelmed, you've just got to remind yourself that there was something good in this. That's everything. Great. Have a good time. Oh, I'll thank see you, you in so a much. little bit. Bye-bye. Okay. We'll see you soon. No, I think, I think going to work was very therapeutic, you know. Sort of got my mind off things. 
Yeah, Petra's great. She's great. Yeah, no, Jamie likes her a lot. He said, no, I... No, I think it was a good move. Yeah. No, things are... Things are really looking much better. You stood eyeball to eyeball, and he blinked. What? You and Dimitri. I mean, he's, he's got to be wild by now, so why don't you call him? He's ready to talk. Don't, don't stall. The planes have landed. She should be here by now. She? Who? Who's she? Brooke. Brooke's coming here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She left a message, said she's on her way. Amazing. Why are you so surprised? What, is she your bad man? No. Oh. She just realizes that under the extraordinary circumstances, why I have to be here. Everything's going to work out. Oh, dream on. <laughs> what was I thinking? Brooke? Brooke is going to understand kidnapping and chloroform and holding a person against her will? Brooke? I don't think so. Brooke is the conscience of the universe. Brooke is going to hate what you've done, isn't it? Brooke, for heaven's sakes, is the one who, who takes down license plates of people who have littered. You're right about one thing. She is the conscience of the universe. At least you've heard what I said. Which is why she deplores what Dimitri has done in his dirty trick. She knows that when somebody fights dirty, that's how you have to fight back. Dimitri certainly has never kidnapped anyone. <laughs> what is it with Dimitri? I mean, you women, you will stick up and believe every lie that comes out of that man's mouth. He had his wife declared dead. She's still defending him. And you, heaven knows what he has promised to you and can't deliver. Look, you better gag me, because one more word out of you about Dimitri, and I swear I will scream. Well, it's about time. Okay, here we go. Temper, temper, Miss Kane. Oh, new condominium. Gonna roll it right. Roll it into oh no! Oh no! Oh lord! Masochism, I don't know. Oh, well, it certainly wouldn't be dear Aggie's prescription for trying to forget an ex boat. I'm sure it wouldn't. Why does it hurt? Why does it hurt so much? I think it's because when, when we love, we do it so completely. I just... I keep trying to think that... But Edmund and I just were not meant to be. And then I think about Laura, and I think about Ted, and I think about that I keep losing people that that I love. I know, darling, that it it isn't fair. It it really isn't. But I think you are stronger than you think you are. You can handle this, darling. I'm not so sure that I can. Control, Dimitri. Yeah, what the hell do you expect? Look, you want to see Erica again or not? Just let me take care of this, all right? Hello. Jack, is that you? Yes, yes, Evan, it's me. 
Welcome to Budapest. All right, listen, we can get this wrapped up even sooner now. Good, good. That's what we all want. Now, listen, first of all, first of all, you have to let Erica go. Do you hear me? Dimitri's agreed to talk. Yeah, well, I figured he would. Listen, put Brooke on the line, will you? Now, tell me, please, first, is, is Erica all right? Jack, she's all right. She's fine. Good, good. So, where are you? I mean, uh, should we... You plan to get together somewhere so we can figure out how you're going to handle Erica's release? Yeah, but first, let me talk to Brooke, okay? Edmund, listen to me for just a second. No, right? would you just put her on? Edmund, you... We're in over your head. Now, the sooner we can get this wrapped up, the better it's going to be for everybody. And the first thing you have to do is you have to let me know where you are. Jack, what's going on? Jack. Jack, Brooke is supposed to be on that plane. Was it... Jack, nothing's happened to her, has it? No, 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 no. Listen, Edmund, Brooke is fine. Brooke is fine. She, she just... She decided not to come. <sighs> Why? Why not? Evan, when she heard what you had done, look, how, how did you expect her to take this? I mean, this is, this is very, very serious, Edmund. Now, Angelique and I are here to help you out, but my friend, you have to meet us halfway, and that means letting Erica go and telling us where you are. Right now, let me talk to him. Right now. To Edmund. brought that back from Denmark. Oh, nice. And I'm going to read it to him, right, Jamie? Okay. Read it to you. Okay. Come on, Tiger, let's go, go tuck okay. you in. Come on. Oh, read it to you. Oh, 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 she's just a very lovely person. Yeah, I was lucky to find her. I'll be in in a minute, honey. You know, the way you pulled yourself together when Jamie and Petra came back, I was so proud of you. I can't let Jamie see me crying all the time, you know. Uh, have you had any dinner yet? I'm not hungry. Oh, nonsense. I'll make you an omelet. <clears throat> You're going to make me an omelet? I didn't say I was going to split an atom. I can crack an egg. When was the last time you made an omelet? Oh. Uh, we'll do it together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, saved by the bell. I'll get it. Tom. Hello, Phoebe. Uh, she's not feeling very well tonight. It's okay. It's all right. Excuse. Thank you for coming by. You didn't need to. I'm not going to fall apart. Never thought you would. I, uh, I feel like crawling into bed and pulling the covers up over my head, but... Well, not tonight, okay? I need you. Oh, but uh, she's really had a tough day, Tom. And I feel for her, Phoebe, but Livia needs your help right now. What? What, ha what happened? You know that we've been house hunting. Well, we found one. Well, that's great. Yeah, that's what we thought. And we put a bid on it, a real good bid. And? We were turned down. Oh, Tom. Because Livia's black. Are you sure? The house has been on the market for six months. Well, tell me exactly what happened. The agent said that the developers had accepted a previous offer. Well, maybe that's true. No, because nothing, nothing, none of this took place until after Olivia came to see the house. Up until that point, Mrs. Calloway, the agent, was telling me that they, they would accept any reasonable offer, that they were so anxious to sell this house. There was no mention of a counteroffer or anything of the kind, so we know it had nothing to do with money. Plus, she never even offered to show us another house. But that's illegal. Olivia's pretending that this isn't bothering her, but I know she's torn up about it, Brooke. Well, I'm sure she is. It's awful. But... But, but Brooke doesn't really need anyone else's troubles right now. She has enough of her own. Olivia really needs a friend, Brooke. Please? Is uh, Erica all right? He says she is. Could you hear her? Did she say it? No, no, I couldn't. He only wanted to talk about Brooke. Why didn't she let me talk to him? Because he hung up, Dimitri. He was very upset that Brooke didn't make it. it wait, wait, he's upset? Yes. What is it with you people? I mean, would you listen to yourselves? 
I mean, you're more concerned about the kidnapper than the victim? Uh, come on, you know that's not true. Erica is the only thing that matters here. I mean, have you got that? If I could have talked to him, I would have told him I would give him anything, anything to get her back. Erica. What am I going to do? Maybe you could start by asking yourself why Erica is where she is. You know, Edmund was right about you. You use people. How, how do you get that? By telling half-truths. By having to control every situation. What are you talking about? This is what happens, Dimitri, when you lie to people. When you treat them like they don't even matter. Who have I treated like that? I asked you to do one thing. Only one thing. And then you could go to Erica with my blessing. But you couldn't even do that. I did what you asked. No, you pretended to. You got Edmund's hopes up, mine, Brooks. We all thought this matter was almost settled. How many times do I have to say it? I have no idea why my father's crypt was empty. You should have seen Edmund's face. That's when he snapped. You, you still believe it, don't you? You, you think that I, I stole my father's body. Oh, stop acting, Dimitri. Mother told me about the phone call. What phone call? She overheard you making arrangements to have Hugo's body moved. Angelique, she's lying. Why would she lie about that? I am only sorry that Erica is the one who's paying for what you did. Erin, um, please. Please take us off me. Please, Edmund. Please. What happened? Why didn't you speak to Dimitri? Why bother? Okay, Brooke's not here. Brooke's not here, but that's not the end of the world. I mean, when you kidnap someone, you, you are expected to, to make ransom demands. It's expected. Edmund, why should I be punished because you screwed up your love life? Why, indeed. You think this is funny? Oh, I think the whole damn thing is hilarious. Well, I don't. I mean, you, you can't abduct me and then just not bother to, to negotiate my release. And what do you expect me to do if you won't tell him what it is you want? You know, I really feel sorry for you. That's good. Then, then release me, please. Release me, Edmund. Another pathetic woman. At Dimitri's mercy. No, I'm not. I'm at your mercy, not Dimitri's. You can't blame this nightmare on him. I can, and I do. Listen to me. Dimitri is the finest, most sensitive man I've ever known. I don't expect you to see that, even if you were close up. But believe me, he is honorable. Let me tell you something about your honorable, doting fiancé, sweetheart. You're just another notch on this boy's belt. That is just a comment that I would expect from you. It's crude and I would expect it's okay. But I must tell you something. I'm not a notch on his belt. He doesn't treat me like an object. He, he cares about my feelings. He cares about me. And he inspires loyalty in me because I can trust him. You're going to make me puke. It's his qualities that make him a real man. Let me tell you about this paragon of virtue, okay? He was sleeping with you, fooling around with his wife the whole summer. No, we were not fooling around the Real whole summer. solid husband material, but Erica. But he was in a loveless marriage. Is that what he told you? All right. <laughs> he loved Angelique, but it was not love. I mean, not like a wife, not like a lover. Mm. Their relationship was purely platonic, and he just stayed with her out of duty. And you believe it? I know that. I know that. He just stayed with her until she was strong enough. <laughs> Purely platonic. Oh, God. You know... <laughs> Erica, you've been had. You've been had. I mean, he was Angelique's husband in every sense of the word. You, you were 
just something he had on the side. Tom, I'm surprised that, that you don't have a little more understanding for what Brooke is going through. Aunt Phoebe, it's all right. Brooke, I feel for what you're going through. You know I do, but unfortunately, there's nothing you can do for Edmund right now, but you might be able to help Livia. She's in a very bad way. Look, Tom, I'm sorry, all right? But the way I feel right now, I don't feel that I am up to something. I'm just not up to it, all right? Well, what are you up to? Staying around here worrying about it, feeling sorry for yourself? Is that what you're up to? Tom Cudahy. Look, I... I understand what you're going through. I do. If I was in your place right now, I'd probably be reaching for a bottle, but you're better than that. I know you're better than that. And since when do you stand around tying yourself in knots when somebody needs your help? That's just not you. So what's it going to be? Are you going to stay around here feeling bad? Or are you going to try to do some good for Olivia and for yourself? It's your call. tomorrow and work out a game plan. Okay, my place or yours? Uh, we can meet at Tempo. I think that'll be easier for you. Well, why don't we talk during the day and then we'll zero in on time. Fine. Okay. Thank you for being such a pest. My husband? A pest? Hard to believe, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, he knows that there's nothing I like better than trying to right the wrongs of the world. Well, you stick with me. I'll keep you very busy. <laughs> and I'm so glad that I married you. Well, listen, I'm gonna... Uh, leave you two lovebirds. I gotta get, be getting home. Thank you. Yeah, thank you a lot. And I hope, well, I hope you get some very good news soon about thanks. You okay? Yeah, as long as I have you, yeah. I think we can get through anything. <laughs>